Hi there, this is Nellie Deutsch, and today I'm going to show you how you can add Facebook as a way to log in to your account. This is called OAUTH2, which is authorization or authentication by a social network such as Facebook, Gmail, Twitter, LinkedIn, and so on. So first thing you need to do is to go into developers.facebook.com. But if you just write develop, Facebook and developers, you'll get to it. You'll get to this page. Now, notice I already have an account, but you'll need to create one. And that's pretty easy to do. You shouldn't have any problems. If you have a Facebook account, you do need to have a Facebook account. Notice these are my apps. I've got quite a few of them um, as logins for both WordPress and Facebook and these are all my apps. Setting up an app for users to log in the first and each time is really really easy and it saves time with uh, people forgetting their usernames and passwords and having the system keep sending them reminders or forgot and then they go back and forth. So to avoid all of that and to avoid getting spammers on your Moodle site, this is a great way to do. All right, so let's take a look at what's available. I'm not going to create one now, but this is what you'll do. You'll go into the plus, okay, in order to create a new app. So you click on that. Now notice what's available here. Okay, create an app ID. So here you have to decide, is it a business integration, third party? These are things that they've added since I created mine. So I would choose for everything else. Or you can simply read over here to uh, learn more about what ID you fit in. All right. So once you get your ID, you'll be able to create your app. All right, so add a new app. You click on it. Let me uh, go into everything else. Okay, you give your app a name. Notice my email is already here because uh, I'm in with my Facebook account, which is under a Gmail. Okay, so give it a name. And then notice what it says here, no business manager account selected. Okay, so that means that, um, notice you don't want to add any of these, no business. That's just going to complicate things. Okay, so uh, like I said, uh, you follow the process and um, you're ready to go. All right, so let me show you what one looks like. I've got some that are... Um, don't exist anymore, but they're still live until Facebook realizes that uh, it doesn't exist anymore. Notice I deactivated the graph. There's no need. I don't want to restore it, but you could have it. Okay, so API access deactivated. Oh, so they did it. <laughs> All right, so they do do it. I was thinking that maybe because it says live, uh, but I can restore access. All right, but let me just show you what is here. First of all, this is my ID, so you're going to get your authentic one and only ID. And then this is how I use it, but let me go to the dashboard. Under the dashboard here on the left, okay, notice that's been deactivated since. Then you're going to go into settings, and there is basic and advanced. If you go into advanced, I'm here on the left with the settings, in case you missed that. Go into basic. Okay, so uh, basic, I want to show you what you need to fill out. So first of all, you add your display name, okay. I wrote org because I also have a com, just to differentiate. Uh, the domain, okay, you don't need to write HTTPS and so on, or www, you just write the name of the domain plus the ending, which is the org. In my case, it could be com in your place, or edu, or... AC or whatever it is. Okay, privacy policy. Now, this is really important. You need to add on your Moodle. If we're talking about Moodle, you need to add a policy. Otherwise, uh, it's not going to, well, it will work, but they'll catch you at some point. And uh, they'll start saying things like, 
Uh, it's not going to work. Okay. So notice you're going for not business unless you're a business. Um, I'm an individual. So that's what I have here. Notice there's nothing that I filled out here except the site URL. So let's go into advanced. Under advanced, notice some of these are options so you don't have to fill in. Notice, um, okay, this is what you need to fill in. So upgrade. Okay, so uh, calls, app roles. Okay, 5.1 is the version right now. Uh, and then app restrictions. Notice what's here. I've got no for reference alcohol. Yes, for social discovery. It's up to you which you fill in here. Um, and and then you get a client token okay that you can reset at any time okay that's the advanced uh, let's continue here with um what i'm doing my product notice uh, is over here it's facebook login that's what i did you can go to the plus okay and add another one they'll give you what to choose from if you go into the plus Okay, let's do that now. You're going to choose, um, okay, there, I can't choose anything new because I already have one. So let's go into this one. So under Facebook login, and you'll see that option, you go into settings. Okay, click on the settings. This is where you need to add your information. All right, so here, this is the important part, the most important part. So you might want to go straight into this part and then take care of the rest. So what you're doing here is authentication. So it's O, authentication, or authorization, client. Uh, that's yes. And then web auth login, yes. Enforce HTTPS recommended. Otherwise, they won't approve it. And then notice... Um, strict mode for redirects you might want to do that that's not necessary what is very very important is this the callback okay valid o a u t h redirect now this is the most important aspect okay so make sure that you get that notice what it is you write the domain then admin slash admin slash o a u t h two call c a l l back dot p h p so take a look at that and write your own and um let's continue here so that's the callback and that's all you need to do you just save it and you're in that's it Okay, so if I want to restore, okay, I can do that. Okay, and then once you finish with that, you get the information. So uh, this is what I was talking about. Okay, uh, you're not interested in Instagram or any of these. Okay, these are the products you're interested in simply logging in. Okay, so don't get involved with this. It'll just confuse things. Okay, it's just Facebook login, unless you want it. You know what you're doing. All right, so that's your ID. Okay, that's it. Uh, I copied it. Let's go into um, what you're going to add to your Google. Okay, so Facebook login. Uh, permissions don't do too much you don't want to do that um, so my permission is very very basic otherwise it's going to cause problems so notice permissions it's under app review you need to add this they will ask you for permissions so all you need is email and uh, access to a person's name and profile that's it do not add any more because you're going to have a hard time uh, getting approved from my experience and I've had quite a few uh, Moodle uh, login experiences with Facebook. Okay, so uh, let's go into our Moodle. But before we do, 
let's get the information for the Moodle. So it's under settings and basic, only basic. So this is your ID. Notice the same one as you have here. And then that's your secret. You click on the show, you copy it, and that's it. Okay, so um, I can show it to you because I'm not going to use it, but I'm not. Okay, so you get this information, you go into your Moodle. So let's go into a Moodle site here. Let's see if something's open. There's one. Okay, so let's go into this one. So I'm in as the admin. And you're going to go into administration, site administration, and plugins. Okay, so under plugins, I'm on Moodle 3.9.1 Fortson theme. You're going to scroll down until you get to authentication. There it is, authentication. Under authentication, you're going to go to manage because what you need to get out, I already have it, is this. O-A-U-T-H-2. Notice with a space between, not attached. There are two kinds. So I'm going to go into manage authentication to be able to enable that because by default it's going to be hidden. So these are okay all the authentication methods so you look for this one and you enable it okay enabling it means that you make it available so if i this is what it's going to look like in your case it's going to have it's going to be grayed out for one and this is what you're going to see okay let me show it to you so you get a chance and it's going to be at the bottom somewhere Okay, so there it is. But notice I have 70 people with that, so there's no way I'm going to. Okay, so let me open it up. Next, you're going to scroll down. Okay, it's back. You're going to scroll down. Okay, there we go. Let's scroll back up. I just want to show you something before we go to a place. Let me show you settings. Okay, so the settings here uh will not help you with anything so just ignore that you're not going to go there you're going to go back into site administration you're going to write so that's what you're going to write okay o a u t h 2 you're going to search for it and then you're going to find it over here now notice there are two there's one here and there's the services you're going to go to the services Okay, because if you go into the top one, you'll get into the settings again, and you there's nothing to do there. All right, so this is where you add Facebook. Okay, um, you're going to go into one of these. Okay, create a Google service, Microsoft, and Facebook. Okay, you can also connect plan or customize by getting Twitter, LinkedIn, and so on. So we're going to go into um, Facebook, okay, because we want to add the information. So here we're going to add the ID. So we go back here, go to the ID. There we go. Add the ID. Oops. Um, here we go. Add the ID. Next, we're going to add the client secret. So let's go back here. I can show it to you because it makes... Oh, I need to add that. So let me do that. Okay, so now it's showing. Notice you can reset this. And then... Okay, let me uh, go back here. And then we're going to go to our client secret, add that. Okay, and you don't click on this. Okay, please do not. Okay, it's going to cause problems. Now, everything else is here, notice. It is here by default. Okay, so all this will appear, uh, plus the logo. Okay, now this you may need to tick it and tick this, so the two will be ticked. You save settings, okay. Facebook, and I'm in, okay, as you can see. And that's it. It's easy as that. You'll get the error if um, the site does not correspond to the right one. I had reached to share.org, and this is integratingtechnology.org, so it has to coincide for it to work. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to add them to the comment box, and good luck. By the way, Facebook does not help. Um, you may find communities that help, but it's very hard to get them to respond. So please feel free to ask. Maybe I can help. And subscribe to my channel. Thank you.